why not? Weavers love to discuss their favorite knots, and in this short video, I'd like to round up three of the most popular knots that weavers use to tie onto their front apron rod. First one I'm gonna start with is a square knot. So to work that knot, we are going to take a bundle about an inch wide, and in this case, I'm starting just to the right of middle, just to help hold up my rod as I work. I'm gonna split the yarn in half, bring it around the rod, and tie the first half of a square knot. So I'm gonna work that all the way across. You can work right to left, left to right, in any direction now. The only reason that I started there was to keep that knot up. So I will meet you up when I finish this first step. Once I have done that, then I would simply come back and tension the warp for evenness. So that was just securing it to the front apron rod. Now I can pull up, maintaining contact with the warp, and pull back to tension the warp. Give it a little pat. Once I am satisfied with the evenness of my warp, I can always tighten it with my loom. I'm just looking for evenness. I'd come back and secure the second half of that knot. All right, that is the basics of the square knot. The other popular knot is called the surgeon's knot. And the surgeon's knot is a cousin to the square knot. And what it looks like, I am just going to undo one of these knots and show you what it looks like. Starts out very much the same. I'm gonna split the yarn, twist it around the apron rod, and then this time, instead of twisting once around, I'm gonna go twice around and pull it up like that. Now the beauty of the surgeon's knot is that you can adjust it and you don't have to untie anything when you're done. The downside with this knot is that it is possible for it to slip. Not so much on the finer set, so the finer your sets, the finer your yarn, the stickier this knot tends to be, the bigger your yarn, and when we get into uh, rigid huddle looms, we're using sets of eight and five and worsted weight yarns. Once you go to crank it on, it's possible that it'll slip, particularly with slick light yarns. Right here I have a linen silk blend. So don't have to untie it when you're done might slip. One more popular favorite. I'm gonna readjust my loom and come back and show you that one. The next knot to share is lashing. It's particularly popular if you wanna eliminate fringe, you wanna get the maximum amount of woven cloth out of your warp. So it looks like this. I have tied an overhand knot to the bottom of each of my bundles and they're at approximately the same length here so that all the knots are lined up. And I'm gonna take a cord about six to seven times the width of your warp. You wanna give yourself some extra length and I folded it in half. I'm gonna take that cord, bring it around the apron rod so it's folded in half. I'm gonna take each bundle and split the layers. So holes on the bottom, slots on the top, and bring it around the rod like so. So I am lashing the knots to the rod. So here we go, splitting in half, pulling it through. So you can see I'm using much less yarn to secure the warp to the loom. Okay, then once I have it secure, I'm gonna come in and just take a half hitch. So form a little loop and bring the yarn up through the middle here, the tail of the yarn, and then go in the other direction. That's just to secure it. Then I'm gonna come back and actually do the tensioning. So I'm gonna pull up on each of the little bundles and tension the yarn until I am happy with my tensioning. Then you wanna come back, make sure that you keep the tension on here, 
and secure the warp with a couple other half hitches. So form a little loop, bring the tail up, and voila. There you have a tensioned warp. This knot is particularly popular with folks who have flat apron rods, right? You don't have a round apron rod, which can make it a little more challenging to work the other two knots previously. I do find that if I wanna make micro adjustments after I have woven my header, that it's a little bit easier to come in and adjust a square knot or a surgeon's knot than it is to come in and adjust a loom that has all these knots that are connected. So with all things, there's always advantages and disadvantages to each approach. The good news is we're building our know-how muscle so we can weave the cloth that we want. So until next time, heddles up.